Demolition started today at a cannabis dispensary in southwest Detroit. Stash Detroit mysteriously collapsed Saturday night. And tonight, the city of Detroit, DTE, and several other agencies are still trying to get to the bottom of what happened. The incident caused part of the ground to shift and crack on Dearborn Street near Fort over the weekend. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian is there with an update on demolition efforts. The building almost unrecognizable at this point. They're using an excavator to tear the structure apart bit by bit, hosing it down, starting from the front and moving their way towards the back. It took crews about an hour to break it all down. The structure had not only risen from the ground, but was also unstable and leaning forward. Some employees from the dispensary felt compelled to stop by. We kind of needed to come say our last goodbye after just months and months of work and spending time with our crew and patients kind of had to, you know, that last moment. <laughs> Stash Detroit opened in 2019. Here's what the building looked like before it collapsed. The owner says it had recently been renovated. Now employees will have to start over somewhere new. We love Southwest Detroit and we love Detroit as a whole. And we just want to make sure that we continue to be here for our community and our patients as well. There are mostly questions surrounding the collapse and very few answers. Now that the building is demolished, officials will finally get a chance to go underground. You'll start seeing a lot of uh, equipment coming in over the next few days and starting to peel back the asphalt and the like, and there'll be a lot of our uh, contractors for the Department of Public Works. Hakeem Barry, chief operating officer for the city of Detroit, says this was some kind of gradual earth shift. Is it global warming, gas or water related? The experts just don't know. All those things are on the table. You just uh, can't rule anything out. Yeah, we can't rule anything out. Crews are now working to clear the site of whatever's left of the building. I think everybody involved is eager to get some answers. We will keep you updated. Reporting in Southwest Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News.